Hey everyone, this is Andy Pichon once again, and today we're going to be going through part two on the Wheel of Fortune transition with Pat Sajak. When Pat Sajak took over Wheel of Fortune, he expected this as a temporary gig. After all, the average lifespan of a game show host was about five years. Heck, Chuck himself was in that very same position. Little did he know, Wheel of Fortune would continue for more than 40 years. That would have been anyone's dream job. However, Pat Sajak had that desire to host a talk show since that's the reason why he went to Hollywood. After more than five years of hosting Wheel of Fortune, he got that opportunity to host the Pat Sajak show. It was your typical Johnny Carson show, do a bit of monologue, have a skit here and there, and then interview the guests. It was nothing special, just something to fill the void for Pat Sajak. So Pat stepped down as a daytime host of Wheel of Fortune and pursued the opportunity of a lifetime. When he hosted the Pat Sajak show for the first time, it seems he wasn't ready for prime time. Remember, he's a real a weatherman and he had a mild demeanor. So maybe a few months in, he could work out the flaws and probably get used to the completely different format. There's one tiny little problem, however. And that tiny little problem? Arsenio Hall. His show of the same name also premiered and it outcompeted Pat Sajak in every way possible. Over the top attitude? Check. Special guests people care about? Check. Experience as a late night host? Check. And last but not least, he got the lucrative Gen X market. This put the producers into panic mode and he knew Pat Sajak is in trouble. It also doesn't help he was typecast as a host of Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, the producers were right that they were worried and the ratings show Arsenio Hall outperformed Pat. It also didn't help that Rush Limbaugh went Jerry Springer in a show that's supposed to be family friendly. The Pat Sajak show folded about a year later, and Pat is back hosting Wheel of Fortune primetime full-time. While it was a sore point of Pat's career, he had fulfilled that role and didn't really bother him that much. Yet, Wheel of Fortune continued at the end of the millennium while dealing with Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Big Brother, and countless reality shows that came and went. Remember, this was the dark ages of the game shows where producers prefer unscripted shows over game shows due to operating costs. So if Pat J. Jack had a household name, there are numerous parodies on the host that including one that seemed to be a little off. So, so tune in next time as we can conclude the final installment of Pat J. Jack hosting Wheel of Fortune.